What's going on, people? Welcome to Ears to the Street with Factor Entertainment. Me, this HG. And, you know, we got to get into this video with Blueface asking his son, is he gay? You know, it's, it's, it's so many things wrong with this video. However, him asking his son, him asking his son, is he gay, isn't what the problem is. <laughs> you know, that's not the problem here. You know, um, the first thing that jumps out is that I have, you know, I, I don't have children, but if I did have children or a son or a child, and he was that particular age, you know, and I, I couldn't really see doing this with, with my son at any age, you know, under uh, under maybe 21, possibly, possibly, you know, maybe 18, you know, it depends, you know, it, it depends, you know, um, I never wanted, I would never want to be a father that hangs out with his son and think having a living room full of gr girls twerking half dress is something cool to do, you know, um, I don't know. I'm not a father, so maybe maybe I can't speak, you know, wholeheartedly from that position. Um, I can't see myself doing it probably at any age now that I really think about it. You know, 21, 18, you know, I'm trying to see if I if I was, you know, I'm I'm a man of a certain age. I'm 40 years old. I'm 40 years old. I'm trying to see like me being a 40-year-old, let's say my son was 20. Would I go to the strip club with my son? You know, I I, I kind of think like we could find something better to do. And the, but I'm also thinking like, yeah, it wouldn't be no, no big deal. My son's 20, I'm 40, we go to the strip club. You know, I don't know. You know, maybe it's a male bonding moment. But I think it's other ways to, to bond with your, your, your son. Um, you know, not having naked women dancing in front of you. So that's the first thing I noticed, you know, you got your son in this house, you got five or six women twerking, gyrating, doing whatever they're doing, and, you know, he's not even old enough to enjoy that, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he shouldn't even be seeing that at this age. You know, this is the same son that basically smacked Blueface's father because he was upset about something and he was trying to talk to him blueface was trying to talk to him and his son basically like muffed him like get out of my face and you know we got to ask ourselves we don't even have to ask ourselves we already know you know i'm not gonna sit here and and and, and persecute blueface um 100 because i don't know the ins and out of his relationship with his son but you know seeing this video it just kind of gives you a um you know, a gist of what's going on in the household. And it's kind of inappropriate. Not even kind of, it's, it's inappropriate. It's inappropriate. And I can see why a son would muff his father like that when he's upset, because it seems like there's a lack of discipline in the household. Um, and and, a, and a, a large amount of lack of discipline is being shown in this particular video, you know, you got half naked women in the living room twerking and you have a young boy around. So these are the memories that this is his conceptual integration, you know, his develop his developmental stages into becoming a man. These are the things that he's seeing and these are the things that's going to make up his psychology, you know. So don't be surprised in 15 years that, you know, we're going to see some of the same behavior coming out of him that Blueface is displaying right now, you know, because we, you know, as children, we learn our surroundings, we learn our environments, we learn from the people that's closest to us, and then this is the personality and some of the values and characteristics that we carry on into adulthood, you know, so he's he's not getting a good start right now, he's not getting a good start right now. Um, you know, and this all, and this and this goes to show you, you know, we all think like, oh man, I wish I was rich. I wish I was rich. I wish my parents was rich. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with being financially uh, free in a sense. However, you know, child development, respect, um, discipline, 
principles, virtues, you know, these things aren't acquired through money, you know, character, these things aren't acquired through money, you know, it takes a certain type of individual to raise a son or raise a daughter and to instill these core principles, you know, that's going to um, have a child grow into a well-rounded individual, you know, someone who's not overly hypersexual, someone who doesn't objectify women, you know, someone who isn't, you know, just chasing after vagina, you know, or chasing after penis if it's a woman, you know, so that's what I see wrong with this video. Now let's get into the the actually asking him, is he gay? I don't think nothing's, I don't, honestly, I don't think nothing's wrong with it. Is the boy too young to even really understand what that is? You know, to a degree, I'm pretty sure he is. You know, he can't fully grasp it. He probably understands what it is to be gay in the most minute sense. You know, two girls liking each other, two boys liking each other. Um, you got girls in the, the living room dancing on each other. Who knows? They're probably also involved in uh, lesbian sexual acts. So, you know, you're worried about your son being gay, but you, you're you possibly or he's possibly seeing gay acts with two women, you know, because gay is gay. You know, it doesn't matter if it's two guys or two girls, you know, gay is gay, you know. So um, the boy is just too young. That's that's the, the problem with this whole thing. He's just too young, too young. You know, this is this isn't good parenting right here. Now the actual oh asking him is he gay? Is he gay? Is he gay? That boy really doesn't have a full understanding of what gay is. You know, so even if he said no, that doesn't rule out him being gay as life goes on. <laughs> you know, as he gets older, um, you know, and, and in some cases, you know. What Blueface is doing by, I don't know if he's forcing his son to be around those women, if he's, you know, making them, those girls twerk on him as a little boy, that could possibly drive him to being gay, you know, putting that type of uh, pressure on the little boy, that'll, that'll, in my, and this is, you know, just me um, logically looking at this particular situation, um, that may, you know, turn him in the other direction where he may have a, a certain type of complex or fear of women and, and run away from what he's naturally supposed to, um, want as a, as a boy or as a man, you know? Um, so like I say, it's really good down to him just being too young to be in this type of environment and it's being forced upon him. You know, that's probably why he's in the, the pantry eating snacks because he doesn't want to be around it. He shouldn't be around that. You know, it's probably making, I'm pretty sure it's, as a little boy, that's making him feel uncomfortable. He's supposed to be somewhere, you know, playing with some toys, playing a video game or learning something constructive, you know, reading, you know, um, these are the things he should be doing, you know, using his hands, you know, uh, even exercising as a little kid, teaching them, teaching them how to exercise and, and, and be fit as a young boy instead of watching girls twerk and probably seeing his father smoke blunt after blunt and after blunt. You know, these are the things that's important in this video that this young boy probably is not being taught. Not just, oh, is he asking them if he's gay? You know, because in this day and age with homosexuality, being something that um is being turned into a normal thing you know when you know it's not a normal thing just because something is popular or something is growing doesn't mean it's you know good or normal you know um however you know if if i'm out in the club and i'm having fun and having drinks and some woman, you know, sparks up a conversation with me or what appears to be a woman strikes up a conversation with me, I feel I should be able to ask, are you really a woman? You see, 
I've seen pictures of men dressed as women who look like women. So, you know, what? I, I should be able to ask that. So he should be able to ask his son, is he gay? You know, we, we should be able to ask each other these questions because, hey, homosexual homosexuality is here. It's bigger than ever. You know, um, it's accepted more than it was in the past. And and now as a heterosexual man, you know, we have to do more investigation. So I have to ask you, are you really a woman? You know, have you had a sex change? You know, you have to ask these questions now. This is just what the world is right now. So don't get mad at him because he's asking his son, is he gay? You know, is the boy too young? Obviously, obviously, you know, but this is the world that we're in now. So now as a young boy and as a father, not saying Blueface is going about it in the correct way, but we have to educate our children on the difference between being heterosexual and homosexual. It's necessary. Does is Blueface doing it in a way that I think is mature and 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 um a way that is tactful to where it doesn't you know, undermine the boy in a sense or make him feel uncomfortable or, you know, I don't think he's doing it in that manner, but, you know, nonetheless, this lesson has to be taught now that we're living in the world that we're living in because there's nothing for Blueface's son to turn on the television and see homosexuality. So you have to, we have to school our young men on this is what this is, and this is what you don't need to do. Do we are we gonna teach in hate? Not no, we're not teaching hate. We're not teaching uh beat up gay people. But if you're a black, if you're a father, not even black, but if you're a father and you would like your son to understand the difference between heterosexual being a heterosexual and being homosexual, then these conversations and questions have to be asked. So don't get mad at Blueface because, hey, he wants his son to grow up to be a heterosexual man. So I'm not mad at Blueface for asking his son that question. I'm mad at Blueface for asking his son that question at such a young age on top of the hypersexual twerk fest that's going on in the living room in front of his young son that's too young. That's the major issue, in my opinion. That's what I'm talking about. Now what we're going to have is a whole bunch of homosexual gay people attacking Blueface like, oh, why you don't want him to be gay? Oh, why you don't want him to be gay? And da 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 Yeah, because he don't want his son to be gay. And that's the issue that we're having with this whole homosexual conversation because you can't force nobody to accept the lifestyle that you've chosen for yourself. You can do what you want to do, but I have the right to do whatever I need to do to make sure my offspring aren't affected by it or participate in it. And that's all it is at the end of the day. And this is To The Street with Factor Entertainment Me, I'm your boy, HG. Make sure y'all hit that like and subscribe button and share the content. We out. I'm from the streets with a hood to swallow a man. I'm from the streets with a hood to swallow a man.